Well, when a retired U.S. Marine who grew up in St. Louis, he also was an intelligence officer, his name is Armin Kinslow. When he got into genealogy, little did he know his hobby would turn into a book about his family titled, They Will Not Be Forgotten. It's the story about his family's military service from the War of Independence to Vietnam. Armin Kinslow joins us, and thanks so much for coming in. It's well, been a pleasure talking to you. Well, thank you for having me this yeah. morning. You know, it's wonderful to be back in my hometown of St. Louis, where I uh, grew up, was born, raised, went to Mizzou, got commissioned in the Marines, and then started my career throughout, uh, you know, the world living and, and, and working everywhere. And then looking at genealogy, you had no idea you had so many ancestors who had been in the service. Uh, none whatsoever. Uh, I had virtually no written records from my family. Uh, we had some oral tradition on my mother's side, virtually nothing on, on my father's side. And so my son got very interested in this. Christopher. In, in Christopher in 2019. And so he and I started to delve in and what we found was uh, pretty extraordinary that we had a veteran who fought in every single war that America has been in from the revolution through Vietnam. And so these stories were so fascinating and inspiring to me, I felt like I had to share them with the public. And uh, that's how I came about writing the book. You, you, you do it in first person. Yes. So that's what makes it interesting. You're a storyteller. Yes. And how much of it is factual? I mean, you're, you're dealing with fact. Yes. But it's first person. You're speaking for the individual yes. who's been dead for 200 years. Yes. Well, uh, you know, that's a very common technique, whether you see that in writing or you see that in film, where they uh, always talk about inspired by true events. Right. So you'll take a true event, but then in order to keep the viewer or the reader's interest, um, you need to create a couple fictional characters and create some dialogue. But I tried to stay as true to the facts and the, and the, and the storyline as possible. Starts in Vietnam, goes all the way back to the revolution. Yes, sir. Are, what stories stick out in your mind? What were your favorites? You know, the Revolutionary War stories, mm -hmm. um, uh, the two that I wrote about were particularly fascinating because um, both veterans uh, lived in the Ozarks, just uh, about 90 miles south of here, and were involved in that war, uh, in that battle at uh, Pilot Knob, Fort Davidson. Mm -hmm. and, what was in, and what was interesting was uh, they both fought uh, each on opposite sides. And given the fact that they lived so close together, I was very curious as to how uh, that all came about, that they chose to fight on uh, different sides. And I don't really want to say too much more about that. No, you got to get the book. A, you got, <laughs> absolutely. And, and right. you know what's coming up, 11, 11, 11, yes, November sir. 11. We've got That's Veterans right. Day coming up. This would be a fantastic gift for the veteran in your life out there. Absolutely. It's um, uh, currently in pre-release. You can order it through Amazon, Barnes & Noble online, uh, and it will be shipped on Veterans Day. Fantastic. Yes. They will not be forgotten. Any book signings coming up? Uh, absolutely. I have some here in town uh, with uh, some various uh, historic organizations and uh, really looking forward to, to meeting some other historians. Armin Kinslow, thank you. Nice to meet you, sir. Thank you, sir. Really appreciate the time.